Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about the side effect of antipsychotic medications. There are four main side effects that are present in all antipsychotics or any other medication that blocks the action of dopamine. Starting with acute dystonia, which occurs very quickly, usually in hours or days. This is characterized by sustained muscle contraction and this can affect any muscle in the body. The question normally mentions a patient who is taking antipsychotic medication and his eyes are closed shut and he can't open them or his mouth is wide open and he can't close it. The treatment for dystonia is benzotropine or first generation antihistamines like diphenhydramine. Next we have akathisia which takes days to develop. It's characterized by restlessness. So the patient would be unable to sit still. They would have to keep moving around or maybe keep moving their legs. It's quite the opposite of dystonia. We treat it with three Bs. Beta blockers, benzodiazepines, and benzotropines. If the patient is taking antipsychotics for many weeks, they can develop Parkinsonism because, as we know, the pathophysiology behind Parkinsonism is the lack of dopamine, and antipsychotics blocks dopamine. Presentation-wise, expect a wide range of Parkinsonism symptoms, ranging from tremors to rigidity to bradykinesia, and etc. In this case, we don't stop the antipsychotic medications, but instead we give the patient benzotropine or amantadine, which replenishes the brain reserve of dopamine. And if the patient is taking antipsychotic for many months, at least six months, they can develop tardive dyskinesia. It causes a repetitive contraction of any muscle of the body, characteristically lip smacking. We treat it with the monoamine oxidase inhibitor, vilbenzine, tetrabenzine, or clozapine. And here's a small quiz. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.